you guys. So remember when I did my holiday dress, the brocade one, um, Vogue something or another, and it had the uh, pocket facing that I showed you all how to do. I will link that video right here. I think it goes. Um, but a lot of you asked in that video in the comments for a tutorial on how to attach the facing to the pocket bag and then the pocket bag to the skirt. After you adjust your teardrop pocket to one that gets sewn into the waistband, how do you attach all of that together? That is what we are going over today. Um, I have done it on my seam work Danny skirt. You can see the side seam pocket in there. Um, and so while I was making this, I went ahead and filmed a tutorial for how to attach the pocket facing and then how to attach an inseam pocket that also gets sewn into the waistband. So let's get to the tutorial and I can show you really just how super, super simple this is to do. You guys are gonna be like this when you're done. Um, so yeah, let's check out the tutorial. We have four pocket bags, um, all out of lining fabric. And then we have two pocket facings made out of the self fabric, which for me is a stretch pleather. So we're only going to be working with one pair of the pockets like so. This is the side seam and this is how the pockets are drafted for the pattern that I was working on. But uh, if your pockets look like a teardrop and don't have this line here, then refer to that um, pocket tutorial. I'll link it up here um, to learn how you can get yours to fit into your side seam. Okay, so now we have our um, pocket facings. And again, that tutorial will tell you how to make these from your pocket bag piece. I did mine at two and a half inches and we've got a side seam here and a side seam here. So now these are all going to go like this. So if your fabric ravels or unravels, you will need to finish the long edge here by either taking it to your serger or hemming it however you want to finish this long edge here because basically we are going to just be almost like an applique situation just placing them on our pocket bags like so and this edge um, will be visible. My fabric does not unravel um, at all so I'm just going to leave that as a nice clean edge uh, you'll never see it from the right side. That's kind of like the whole point. So if your fabric is a knit or something synthetic that doesn't unravel, by all means, just leave this edge raw. But you are going to go to your sewing machine and you are going to edge stitch along this edge here and then baste all of these raw edges. Okay, and this is what your pocket bags are going to look like after you've gotten them top stitch on. And from here out, guys, it's really just attaching inseam pockets. So you wanna take the back of the right side of your skirt, and that is what the right side of the faced pocket bag gets attached to. So take both of them like so. You are going to stitch along the side seam at one quarter of an inch on both sides here and then you're going to take the right side of the front of your skirt and that is where the unfaced pocket bags get attached again in the um, one quarter of an inch seam allowance on all four side seams. All right, so you can see here, I have my facing pocket bag attached to the back of my skirt and the unfaced pocket bag attached to the right side of the skirt, I'm sorry, to the front of the skirt. Now we are gonna attach the skirts together. And to do that, you are going to stitch around this outer edge of the pocket bag, come in into your skirts side seam and then stitch all the way down to your hem. And then you're gonna do another stitch by combining the pocket bags at the waist seam and stitching just inside at your 5 8 inch of a seam allowance. 
stitch inside of the skirt down um, somewhere between one and a half, two inches. You just wanna make sure you have enough to still get your hand into your pocket bag. So do that for both sides. Okay, and once you've got that done, you you can see your pocket bag is completely attached and you now have a proper side seam at the waistband of your skirt. Now to keep this little guy from flapping around, we need to attach it to the waist seam. So we are going to turn it toward the front of our skirt and then we're just going to baste along the waistband edge and I went ahead and did the other side so you can see what that looks like and then when you have your skirt right side out here is and I haven't pressed any of this so here is your um, side seam something like that <laughs> um, with the pocket already open. And then when you peek inside, you can see the right side of the main fabric is showing there. Oh wait, that's the back, hold on. You can see the facing when you put your hand in to, uh, to the skirt, this is the facing seam here. And again, I have to press it, um, which takes a little bit of time with this leather, but, um, but yeah, so you can see, you don't see any of the pocket bags they are all tucked in nice and easy. And from this point, you would continue to construct your dress um, however the instructions say. Sometimes you have to go ahead and attach the bodice to the skirt and then attach the lining to that afterwards. That's what I'm going to do. But the pocket portion is completely done and it's super cute and didn't use up a lot of our main fabric. All right, I told you guys, it's super, super easy, right? Um, I am going to be doing this to all of my pockets going forward. I don't see any reason to ever have a teardrop pocket. I don't see any reason to ever not save fabric. Like your main fashion fabric is way more expensive than your lining fabric. So why not just use a sliver of it for a pocket facing and then use your lining for all the stuff that no one will ever, ever see. Plus, you know, it feels nice to put your hands in and feel the lining that's usually nice and smooth and I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this is my go-to pocket from now until the end of time. So I hope that you learned a little bit, that you'll try it out on your own and see if it works out for you and all of your future side seam pocket garments. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.